Hi, hello, welcome to Home School. This is your class 10 mathematics. Today I'm here to discuss with you most important and repeated questions in your annual examinations and also the passing package, how to face a mathematics examination easily by remembering with some techniques. From every chapter, we can guess some type of questions which are likely to occur in the examination. So first we'll be knowing about those and then next session onwards in every chapter uh, what are all the questions which are likely to occur one problem i'm going to solve and similar questions i'm going to give you for practice so in every session we are going to do at least two to three chapters and in the same way theorems theorems are also very easy to understand have to remember theorems easily i'm going to explain by shortcut methods and also statistics it might be it might be constructions scoring marks in mathematics is very easy if you practice well properly mathematics you need lots and lots of practice if you practice more you will be perfect in mathematics so let's start the problems first chapter arithmetic progression we can guess one multiple choice question and one Two marks question, marks it is. One two marks question or it may be two two marks questions also. You may get this here. And one four marks question compulsory. So look here. Uh, one multiple choice will be given. That means uh, they may give you any nth term value. Suppose a n is equal to 3 n plus 1. 3 n plus 1. Find fifth term. Fifth term means n plus substitute 5. A5 is equal to n value here 5. 5 3s are 15. 15 plus 1, 16. So in that way they may ask or find 10th term, find 2nd term, find 1st term. Any term value you may be asked. Or they may ask you find the common difference. Find 1st term. 1st term means if you substitute here 1. A1 is nothing but the 1st term. And common difference, common difference means you need to know A2 and A1. Substitute 1 and get A1 value, substitute 2 and get A2 value. Common difference D is the difference of A2 and A1. That is A2 minus A1. We are going to get common difference value. Any way you have a chance of asking. And coming to two marks questions, we can guess here nth term or sum of n terms. Means they may give you some sequence 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, so on. Giving arithmetic progression and asking you any 10th term or 15th term or 18th term. Like this they may be asking. 1, 2 marks that is finding nth term or sum of n terms. And this year we may guess 2 questions in your 2 marks. 2 marks, 1 question they may be nth term. And one question they may be, sum of n terms they may ask. We have a chance of getting two questions this year. So let's see. Giving a sequence, find the tenth term they will ask. Tenth term means a value is 2, d value 4 minus 2 it will be 2, a 10 you need to find. And you should know about the general term formula, a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. If you know this, you can find any term. Right? Then coming to your sn, sum of n terms. There are 20 terms. Find the sum they may ask. If you know a, d and sn formula, sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Or you may go with another formula, sn is equal to n by 2 into first term plus last term. If we know these three formulas, we can solve arithmetic progression problems. This four marks question, one question is compulsory we know, but it might be difficult. Second chapter, triangles. In this, we can guess one mark, one theorem statement and four marks or five, four or five. Compulsory one theorem will be given here. Either it may be for 4 marks or 5 marks. If they ask for 5 marks, there is no 1 mark statement question won't be there. 
if they give you the theorem for 4 marks and 1, 1 mark statement also will be there. So you can guess total in this chapter, 5 marks you can guess children. And similarly in this, uh, 3 to 5, better I give only 3 marks. You can guess 3 marks and here 5 marks. 5 marks among these, all the theorems are very important. Statement wise, state tails theorem, state BPT, state Pythagoras theorem, state converse of Pythagoras theorem, any one theorem statement, they may be for one mark. In coming to your four or five marks theorems, as you all know, a very important theorem for this year examination is Pythagoras theorem and also basic proportionality theorem. Basic proportionality is nothing but the tails theorem and areas theorem and angle angle criteria theorem. So these four theorems are very important for this four or five marks. Total five marks compulsory we know from this chapter. Third chapter pair of linear equations in two variables. So in this chapter we can guess one mark one multiple choice or it might be one mark bit and one two marks question and one four marks question compulsory. This four marks question will be graph. So coming to your one mark, what you can guess here? They may give you two equations and they ask you to compare the ratios and say whether the lines are intersecting, coincident or parallel or how many solution does they have? One solution, no solution or infinitely many solutions. Among these, one multiple choice question or one mark question, one will be given. Coming to your two marks question, they will give you two equations, x plus y is equal to three, x minus y is equal to two. So all the two equations they may ask. So all these two equations and find x and y value. By which method? This year we have only elimination method, by elimination method, you need to solve the equations. Next, four marks, one question is compulsory. That is, uh, two equations will be given, solve graphically, they'll be asking. So we need to draw the table, solve, and then guess the answer, either the two lines intersecting, parallel, or constant. We need to write the solution. So total, we can guess from this, seven marks. Okay, coming to fourth chapter, circles. We can guess from this chapter, one multiple choice and one three marks compulsory question. So in this one mark, what you are going to get? Uh, circle and tangents will be given. Angle, central angle will be given. What is the tangential angle? Or the tangents angle will be given. What is the central angle? So one multiple choice we may guess. Coming to your three marks, three marks, there are two theorems. There are two theorems. Among these, one is compulsory for three marks. So total, we can score in this chapter, four marks. Constructions. Constructions, easily we can score this year. We get one two marks question and one three marks and one four marks. Total nine marks we can expect from this chapter. Two marks question, what it will be? Divide a line segment in a given ratio. Divide a line segment in a given ratio. And three marks question, we can guess, uh, draw a pair of tangents or draw tangents from an external point. Any one question we may guess. So here tangents you can write. And for this, two marks question, line. And coming to four marks, similar triangle is compulsory. Draw another similar triangle according to the given ratio for four marks will be given. Total nine marks we can expect in this constructions. Seventh chapter, coordinate geometry. From this chapter, we can guess one two marks and one three marks compulsory here. Two marks, we can guess one question using distance formula, finding the distance between two coordinates of a line segment 
or we may guess find the midpoint of the line segment using midpoint formula find the midpoint of line segment distance midpoint or distance from the origin you may guess any type of question for two marks coming to your three marks using section formula using section formula or finding the area of triangle three marks question we can guess using section formula find the point which is dividing the line segment in the ratio 3 is to 4 2 is to 3 the two coordinates of the line segment will be given and the ratio of division will be given you need to find the coordinate where it is to be divided and another area area of a triangle three coordinates will be given you need to find the area or in that coordinates any one number will be missing and we need to find the value of that k or c whatever letter it is so among these one three marks question is compulsory total five marks we can guess from this chapter chapter 10 quadratic equations from this we may guess two marks two questions Total it will be 4 marks. From this chapter we may guess one multiple choice question or one mark question. What is the standard form of a quadratic equation they may ask you or what is the discriminant they will ask or if the delta is greater than 0 what are the nature of roots delta equal to 0 delta less than 0. These all they may be asking for one mark but we are not sure about it. And coming to two marks, two questions are compulsory. They will be given a quadratic equation. Quadratic equation will be given for you. You may solve this either by factorization or formula method. But if they specify solve the quadratic equation by formula method means you are going to do only by that method. Right? One question among these two and another question another question belongs to nature of roots nature of roots again quadratic equation will be given find the discriminant value and what is the nature one quadratic equation will be given we need to find the nature by finding the discriminant value or in the quadratic equation one value will be missing and one variable will be given there that means somewhere k value will be given okay so find the k value they will be asking. Among these two types, two questions will be compulsory. Carries four marks. Introduction to trigonometry. Guessing of introduction to trigonometry is little difficult. Ratios. If you know full ratio table and you may guess one question. Complementary angles and all. Maybe one question. And your last exercise in this chapter 10 questions you have. All the 10 questions are very important. You can expect one question from this. So introduction to trigonometry. If you know ratios, we can guess at least one two marks question compulsory. So here two marks we can guess. Some applications of trigonometry. 12th chapter. Some application of trigonometry. One verbal problem will be given for you. It may be for 3 marks or 4 marks, but we cannot guess the problem. So, I am skipping this chapter. Coming to your next chapter, 13th chapter, statistics. We can guess 2, 3 marks questions. That means 6 marks compulsory. So, what type of questions they will be asking? We have mean, median, mode, Ogives less than ogive and more than ogive. Among these five concepts, mean, median, more, less than ogive, more than ogive. Among these five concepts, they may ask you two questions. And compulsory or questions will be there in this. Mean mode, mean question or mode. One choice will be there. Median or ogive or mean ogive mix up of any two. So here two questions will be asked that two questions again will be having or choice for that. That means 
four questions among these five will be given for your examination so last chapter that is 15th chapter surface areas and volumes if you are perfect with formulas one mark formula one formula will be asked in one mark question two marks one question will be given maybe for three marks or five marks question we can expect from this chapter but we cannot guess that problem so i'm not giving those questions here only one mark that is if you are ready with formulas one mark is yes if you know about all the solids formulas and if you know the combination and conversion of solids then you can guess one three marks question here one three marks question and coming to your some applications of trigonometry though the problem you may not solve and understanding the problem and writing the given data same what there in the question what is the given data if you write you can score one mark from this so total in the surface areas i can guess four marks and here one mark so total let us add all the marks 3 3 plus 5 8 8 plus 7 15 15 plus 4 19 19 plus 9 28 28 plus 5 33 33 plus 4 37 37 plus 2 39 39 plus 1 40 40 plus 6 46 46 plus 4 will be 50 total 50 marks total 50 marks we can score if you are perfect with all these type of problems so from all these chapters all these questions i'm going to explain you in easy way and i'm going to explain you these all theorems graphs constructions and all the varieties of problems what we have seen important i'm going to make you very easy how to understand the theorems easily without forgetting an examination and taking one problem i'd like to explain all the methods in statistics mean median mode less than or equal more than or equal everything with only one problem i'm going to explain you in statistics so similarly constructions also have to do the construction without doing any mistake just we come to know what are all the important questions from our next session we are going to solve all these problems within 3 4 sessions we are going to complete our passing package and i hope you definitely will score more than 50 so with this i end our session today in our next session we are going to continue with the next chapters until that keep watching thank you all